start this. $1,500 on the line, 400 guaranteed for the players, and now $100 more for every contestant. Who boys! I'm excited! Our match starts, we got Happy on the upper right hand side, we got Lin on the bottom left hand side, Concealed Hill is the starting point. And we gotta discuss what hero is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a Blade Master? Is it gonna be a Farsia? Is it gonna be a mix of both? And what did Happy cook up? Is it still DK Mass Ghouls? Is that what we're going to witness? As I seem to have some spikes here, I hope this fixes itself. Thank you, Victor Ginas, for the sub as well. But there we go. It is a Fastia. Happy waiting for the Ziggurat to finish here, starting with the DK. No Ted Fiend build order or anything. Straight up ghouls again, who've been terrorizing orcs in this matchup. We've seen 1 to 0 play nothing but ghouls. So hopefully. Lin found an answer, and the answer to this was, for the longest time, Wyvern, Mass Air. Look at this, Lin with the Warmel here. And a fast tech. Happy sees this immediately. This is a clear sign to me that it's Wyvern, Wyvern, and even more Wyvern into some bats, and then some explosions right after. A player's forces are under How well will the Fasia harass go? Happy knows what this is gonna be, and I think this is what he expected that it's gonna be. How much damage can he do? Happy's reaction immediately. Narrow tower in the base for better fortification. A little bit of creeping. And trying to get level 2 as fast as possible and then turn the harass around and put the pressure onto Lin. Lin trying to creep as fast as possible. His best defense is but offense. Is Keep Happy busy in his base. Try to delay the tech for as long as humanly possible and try to get ghouls away. So far, not a single point of damage done. It was an interesting pathing here on Lin's side. Not going straight up to the right-hand side. Maybe expecting Happy at the green, but that's coming in only now. Wolves are doing a little bit of damage, but Blight Regeneration is obviously helping against that. Last hit. Didn't get it. Happy with level 2, and now things get difficult for Lin. He needs to get some HP points off of that DK. And I'm just waiting for me to lag, so this is finally fixing itself. Not much damage. This is maybe a skeleton. But that's about it. We will have a solution a for forces are under game attack. two. So, tier two tech almost done. Is this sufficient? For Lin, he got a thousand gold, he can spend it in an instant. And Happy has, of course, no TP anymore, but it's totally fine. Like, even if he gets some damage on the DK now, it's nighttime. He can go to the shop, he can heal up, and Lin always has to worry about a snap surround, as we've seen so many times off of Happy. But so far... No big accomplishments for Lin at all. Happy level 2.6 inventory... Quite underwhelming, I gotta say. And, ooh, what? Triple production. Double beastery into totem. That's new. Is it Wyvern and Spirit Link then? So they're less fragile. That's an interesting... Interesting build, if it's that play, and I assume it's that play. Does it help against Batriders? I guess so. Tech by Lin is obviously 
far ahead. But Lin can't stop Happy from getting level 3. And now it's Coil territory. Smooth early game for Happy, I would say. Shadowhunter coming in, but no reinforcements. Lin can play a vast different of strategies. Raider lame, Wyvern pr pressure, maybe even some tier 3, but we decide to open things up with Raiders. Double Beastry Raider Walker. Huh. I'm not too sure how successful this is gonna be. Like, ghouls will tear the raider apart. Coil Nova will tear the raiders apart. And it seems like Happy has uh, similar issues to me. But yeah, how do we judge this early game? 0.3 levels on Lin. Happy with level 3. Tier 3 on the way. And apparently Lin stays on tier 2, right? Big investments into that tier 2 army. He's trying to overwhelm quickly. While Happy didn't unfold his tier 3. While there is no destroyers. Things don't seem to be stabilizing for Happy right now, giving Lin some time. Maybe uh, Happy saw what's coming and has to look into his playbook. But alright, we try this again. And Happy comes in. Needs, uh, wants to prevent creeping with only the DK. But hero focus is a thing. Happy didn't buy a TP, only a potion, and snare is ready in a few seconds. No crowd control outside of Hex. Five seconds. Can he buy the time? Lich is coming in to the rescue. Oh, and the ghouls are coming in as well. Oh, Lin, that's not looking too great. Raider is getting surrounded immediately. And that's a big kill. A little bit too early. Imagine and snare is finished. Imagine he's catching him here without the lich, without the ghouls. Then it might be a dead DK. But that way, we're in a world of trouble. Happy is not. is, is deciding to not force the issue. And rather keep on creeping. Waiting for the ghoul frenzy, waiting for the tier 3, and what's Lin's idea? It's an expansion. Triple production expansion. This is a later expansion than normal. And usually, Happy has no problem dealing with that. He clearly cooked this up prior to the match, so how does he think he can survive the early late game?
players force Big fight in front of Happy's base. No Deathstroke yet. Wolves are kind of strong, but it's two, two heroes only. No level two wolves, no level two heal wave. How is Lin supposed to win this? He isn't. He's exchanging time. I'm sorry for the PowerPoint. Next map will be better. Lin has a supply lead, but that's about it. And Happy knows exactly what's up. A player's forces are under attack. What a razor sharp timing this is. Happy knows exactly what to do and when to do it. Bats are coming in, take care of one destroyer. The other is wet, but the ghouls are the problem. And it is a huge cancel here. Two minutes down the drain for Lin. He's connecting once again, down to 50%. But there's so many units falling. It's an even exchange, actually. Another destroyer falling. And, and the magic damage of walkers is doing a fine job. But the Destro is getting coiled full mana. The Spirit Link is of course feeding that Destro with HP, with mana, with damage. And Lin is trying his darnest to get rid of it. DK still has a potion, should be fine. He's winning the air fight on the ground. There's still ghouls. Actually, the Boro is a big help if Lin can hold here. It's not looking that bad for the late game, even though the fast here is falling off. No item anymore, though. He'll wave to the rescue for the time being. And more and more units towards Happy's XP account. Little bit of help. I'm lagging at the worst possible timing. And oh my god. All right, I'm getting on a different stream. And I guess that game is over? Uh... We'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> So, our friends are uh, taking over and I will use Flow TV to not have lags anymore. I'm very sorry for the experience, but the game was over. Happy wins map number one with that attack. Lin lost the Farseer, and that was game one. 100 bucks. And the game has started. Okay. We will have a better connection. 
For map number two, I apologize to everyone involved for the experience, but hopefully we get six amazing maps now without any complications. Thank you, JRAS, for the big super chat. 35 New Zealand dollars, I think. Long time watcher from New Zealand. Cheers, Neil, for keeping this game alive. Love. Thank you. Also, John the Fool. Love the super chats. Welcome to YouTube, everybody. Whew. I didn't expect this to be so stressful today, but it, hopefully we can all forget about it once the games are rolling. Our next map is going to be Northern Isles. Uh, But okay, feels like we need a rehost, maybe a join bug. We had these in the past, didn't we? Six more maps to go. This timing by Lin. I don't quite understand it, to be honest. Triple production building into Radar Walker, then Kodo Wyvern. Thank you, Uwatch, for the sub. Happy's timing is pretty much tailor-made for it, right? Maybe if the harass works out better, then there's a chance if he delays Happy a little further. That expo was so close to finishing. If that expo finishes, well, then there's always a chance, of course, but Happy's timings are too good. But again, this game boils down to the one encounter on the right-hand side. We were six seconds away from Ensnare finishing. Happy dives in with the DK. And that was exactly those six seconds. And then the Raider gets surrounded. Lin loses momentum. Can't get the potion away. I can't can't take the potion away, can't take the DK away. Thank you, Eteria, for the sub. S sub to the lags. Back to lagcraft. Yeah, yeah. So we're about to start this, waiting for Infi at the moment. Uh, Infi, of course, streaming that to his audience. And now we're ready. Both players ready. Go, go. And we have more in-game action. Norwegian Whale Invitational. Map number two, Northern Isles. Is there a better chance? This is Lin's first map pick. So it must be his favorite. Northern Isles did orcs uh, some favors in the past, especially versus Night Elf. And a lot comes down to shop control. You know it, only one shop. Let's take a look at the map stats, everybody. Lin on Northern Isles, two third win rate, 50% win rate versus UD, 11% versus happy only. LT would have been better, win rate wise. Turtle Rock would have been better. Twisted would have been better. But he decides to go for Northern Isles. And I wonder why that is. Okay, Lin, show us. And make this a series. In a series versus Happy, things can derail really quickly. We think back to one year ago, Happy versus Soin on this very map. The perfect game, as we called it. 
one surround after the next, one headhunter after the next. But is it gonna be headhunters? I don't think so. They are too squishy. Lin wants to play everything else but headhunters. Is he gonna put trust into the Farseer and the Harass again? Or is it gonna be a blade? You can pimp the blade like crazy. Nicholas Costolani, thank you for the sub. Spikes on up, we love your work. Thank you. So no lags anymore. Sorry for that first map. Uh, pains me. But now, six awesome maps. With good conditions. Farseer it is. It's the same strat, isn't it? So far it is. Warmill Fastech. Shadowcat, thank you for the sub. Happy is not switching up anything. Of course, the early game went way too fine for him. So, about this double attack. beastery walker tech. You know, I can see this work with Wyvern. Wyvern are squishy. You help them with Spirit Link, and then they do the damage. But Raiders... I'm not too sure if you need two Ensnares when you have Hex. But Lin is an absolute genius. There must be a plan behind it. Maybe it just didn't work out the way. He also scouted the wrong position at the very, very first creep camp. This is not the case this time. He knows what's up. And he goes straight into the base. Happy not scared of the wolves at all. Always putting pressure on that one acolyte. Warming it up a little bit. And every XP point, now every skeleton seat. is important. What game sound is super loud? Okay, sorry about that. Last hit. Battle. Ooh, that was close. Lin got something. But I don't think it's enough. Let's go. We see it again. Happy. There's no one better than him in killing these creeps. Always knows the timing. He feels it. And he's just creeping into Lin's face. Wouldn't this harass work out better with the Blade Master? Lin a bit hesitant. Going for that hero these days. Once again the big one, but against Coil. Is there even a way for Lin to secure this? He plays conservatively. Two ghouls are getting hurt. And... Again, happy with the last hit. Can Lin get ghouls? He needs two. Coil is ready at the perfect time with good mana management. And that's what you get when you don't use coils for last hit. You have them ready for the heal. I would say the Seraz was a little better. Especially in buying time. But it's no crazy damage. Playing around it again. Nope. You just don't get anything and we have the same situation as we had before. DK level 2.6. Farsia gotten barely anything done. And it's also the same build. Kovac. Skitty. Thank you for the sub. Beast. Oh, TC this time. Different build. But that's the level these two are operating on, eh? Every split second. Can't decide about a good or bad early game. Happy Slaughterhouse is a tad delayed, but far CRTC, dude. There's no tempo in this build at all, is there? There's not even great creeping capabilities, is there? I'm very curious what Lin's goal is here.
and why the double raider timing is so important. With this two raider production, Ensnare is quite late. And again, happy with the perfect scout with the skelly. Knows exactly what's up. So you get nine supply pretty much immediately. And that's supposed to help you with that expo. But happy is here with coil level two. And that usually spells disaster for the rest of the creep camp. Worth to invest into that troll to keep the heroes low on concealed. Lin was in the end able to play with level two heroes. But that's no match for this DK. Happy is playing with illusions, buying time, and is creeping the shop in the meantime. I told you how important that shop is. This time, Happy not even forced into a potion, but this is the end snare timing. There's no stomp though, so this is the only crowd control he can work with. Happy always greedy, never going for a town portal anymore these days. We have one coil, and the statue falls, and that's a huge one. No region on HP and mana for the time being. And he needs that, especially for the coils. Misses the stomp! Oh no! Big investment into mana. Was a little stressed here because, of course, went of mana stealing can take that away and fuel the DK. At least he gets a ghoul for his efforts, and the expo is coming again. This delays the destroyer timing. Is it about this one statue snipe? Then, of course, in an ideal world, would have loved to get more out of this. But statue and ghoul, alright. Sells the talisman. Probably getting an inwall now. Triple rings for happy, rare to see. This is very very likely to be a lot about hero focus so having these rings is probably not the worst once again we fight on level two very atypical timings here by Lin. definitely prepared but can he make this work chain lightning coming in why we're not coming in damage is ramping up and ghouls are disappearing destroyers aren't finished yet as he had to rebuild that one statue Fasia in trouble, holds the TP, statue going down. Okay, this looking a lot better for Lin. Trading Raiders for another statue and the Destro upgrade finishes, but he can't really morph one. This is huge. Okay, now we're talking. This is what Lin wanted to accomplish on game one. A player's forces are under attack. Identifying statues as the weak link. And if there's no destroyers, of course, spirit link can work well. Expo up. No chance for Happy to push this during production. Greater mana for the TC. Watch awards for Happy, not that great. Bats are coming in. Very diverse army on Lin's side. And this... Happy wasn't ready for this! And even though there was probably more possible here on the left-hand side, again, this dates back to the statue loss. Wand of the Wind, also extraordinary. The air army is ramping up, we got Kodos for the damage boost, we got the level 3 heroes up, we got the tier 2 expansion up. A way better situation for Happy than before. Eh, uh, for Lin than before. Wolves 2. Heal scrolls. No invul on either side. Lin still waiting for some more resources. He feels incredibly confident now. Happy is adjusting instantly. Double statues. Um, from the slaughterhouses.
Oh, nice play by Lin. Not going into Coil Threshold. Happy wasting mana. And experience goes to the Korean Orc as well. The inventory for Happy is so empty. Brave move to steal this away. It was a pendant of energy. A hundred more mana is a stomp. That was such a sick timing by Lin. Oh my god. Here we go. AoE against the ghouls. He's catching four of them. Time for the Wyvern to get the damage in as well as Chain Lightning. Very conservative. No nuke against the Bad Riders. Three destroyers still up though. The Spirit Link got a carry. No coil at the moment. Dispelled. Wyvern to right to the right hand side. Not feeding all that experience. Destroyers falling quickly. Lin is absolutely overwhelming. Bats are connecting. This is one more. The Destros are falling like flies. GG. What an exclamation mark by Lin. I didn't get the strategy on game one, but seeing this, this was gorgeous. This was perfect. So many timings working out well for Lin. Beautiful. Just beautiful. He found a strategy again that works. Let's say map one was a little bit unlucky. And things didn't work out that way he wanted it to and the way he needed it to. And now we are down to five maps. Wow. We have ourselves a series, everybody. And the next one is going to determine who takes the lead here, of course. Sorry, some admin duties here. Damn. Interesting to see. This is loser's pick. Because of course, if you lose a map, you might want to play on a map next that comforts you a little bit so the opponent doesn't get momentum. Happy says, I don't care. Pick any map. I did not expect this. Says, what's the point in picking maps if we play all of them anyway? Curious how this is gonna go. So, if Happy wasn't uh, doesn't want to decide the maps, I want to decide the maps. And I said, Twisted Meadows, guys. Go Twisted Meadows. Because we love Twisted Meadows. Not much time between the series. Holy moly, old Korean 10 euro, thank you. Good weekend. Anti-Cyclone, thank you for the sub. It is a good weekend, isn't it?
Okay, he doesn't care about momentum. He says, I don't care. What a statement that is. Lin picked Northern Isles right away. So for him, he clearly has a preference. When we started the series, I was a little worried that we have a 7-0 at the end. But this is Lin, and Lin is prepared. And Lin is ready to give us a show. Now, on Twisted Meadows. Does this timing work out on bigger maps? Concealed Hill was already quite a big map, rush distance wise. It did work better on Northern Isles, which is uh, from base to base a little smaller. Twisted, one of the bigger maps, but we also have Lost Temple. We also have Turtle Rock. We also have Shattered Exile. So now, are there any adjustments? As I see Norwegian Whale in the chat, can we send a wall of hearts in the chat for him to sponsor this? For him to spend $1,500 for our entertainment? Can we see some Norwegian flags? Can we see some whales? Can we see some hearts? Drakatos did it right. There we go, everybody. This afternoon wouldn't be possible without Norwegian Whale, and I'm incredibly thankful for it. DK, Ghouls, that's the opener. On Lin's side, Fossier, Fast Tech, even faster than before. Lin has been playing a very lame style on this map. With a lot of raiders into happy space, killing the buildings. And that was also always tailored towards the slaughterhouse. First and foremost, happy started to build it far in the back to keep it possible. Uh, to keep it possible, to keep the statues possible. And this is the Achilles heel once again. Forces are under attack. Judging from game one. Whoa. What the hell? Ah, just for the... Just for the corpse. Let the Acolyte die. And Lin doesn't find him. Nice evasion creeping. Dodges the Farseer. Is that another coil? Oh, Lin got it! What a madman! Moved in as close as possible to reduce the projectile speed. And Happy was too greedy to go for the coil to secure the kill. And no way, dude. A player's forces are under attack. That's a ghoul down too. This is amazing. Can you get a better opening? It's hard! It's real hard! This time, Happy learned the lesson. Uses the coil to get the kill. If this is how Lin wants the early games, I can totally see it! Oh, Happy got that one. The Null Warden. But it was close once again. Ghouls are creeping at the same time. High tempo on map 3. Lots of strength, a little bit of uh, shadow melt. But this is Lin's weakest timing. He has no units. All he got a town is, under is a Farseer and Timex. We have the same build again that we had on Northern Isles with the TC, with Beastry, with Walkers. Oh, Lin. Playing around it. Didn't get this one, did he? Nope. More chances. Pressure on ghouls. But happy stabilizing here. This is not happening again. Not the same mistake twice. And again, happy, 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 happy. All the last hits. But it takes time. 
the early game once more. Happy is ending up on level 2.5, which is all right. But Lin accomplished more than in the previous games. Graveyard, tech, all waiting for it. Thank you, FEB, for the raid. TC is marching across. Double Raider Walker. And then a fast double end snare and stomp. A player's forces are under attack. Taking XP away everywhere. We haven't seen a dive into the base. Lin's getting a lot of information about tech timings and building positioning. So he knows what to do. For now, positioning himself a little more defensively, creeping up. And of course he has to free the expo, because that's the backbone of the late game. Additional income. Attack. Thank you, I, thank you, uh, ironic LMZ for the five month. This really boils down to is this strategy made for bigger maps? Happy is making an adjustment immediately. Double slaughterhouse. He tried this before as a reaction to the early statue loss, and now he even does it preemptively. The army sustain on Lin is good with the early spirit link. There's still a timing window when there's no dispel against it. And with spirit link, the entire orc army is tanky, beefy. Not much to accomplish here. Oh. Wait a minute. Everything is so hurt. Is Happy gonna lose a ghoul in his base? No way. No. No, no, no. And then Blight region. But solid map control, guys. We get the vamp aura. Not too many units benefit from it. We're gonna get mass air after this once again. Expo is up. Disenchant. Yes. Helps the raiders, but that's about it. A player's force. We have a parry up online. No invo potion. No heal scroll. And I'm sure that Happy has the right read. Bats, Wyvern. And creep jack by Lin. Knows that this lap is happening. Sends half of his army here to stress. With crowd control and the damage dealer while creeping up the TC on the right hand side knowing that Happy is in his base this should be enough time even though there isn't much damage but with the Wyvern coming in he gets it done Lin is very very well prepared Ring of the Archmagi more HP, more armor more mana Reinforced defenses started Expo 2 thirds Happy struggles with creeping due to the sheer presence of Lin. But without the statues gone and with the lich like this, with four statues, three statues and a destroyer up, can you hold this? I guess the once at 50, the biggest thing Happy can acquire is armor upgrades to reduce the influence of bats. And Lin gets a big mana potion, has a heal scroll. Expo up, only a burrow, no tower. It's a strong timing by Happy. Supply lead for Lin, reinforcements should be there quickly. Hard to nuke. The bats out of the air with limited coil nova. Trying to hold, trying to hold this burrow. Lin needs that. Bats coming in, but only no, no, no. This one needs to detonate. 
there we go. The Bolo is up. Production should be there. Stop again. This is so close. Oh my god. He holds for now. And Happy leaves the game. GG. Lynn holds and Happy frustrated out of the game. Holy moly. This feels almost triggered. Does it not? To me it does. <laughs> All righty. We have a series. The game started right away. Happy going springtime. Usually happy always tries to fight back. Always tries to level and nuke and play the game from behind until the last unit basically but not here the adjustments didn't work even with the smooth early game i mean smooth early game um he lost a creep and he lost a ghoul. That is not a smooth early game at all. But I mean mid game. With the destroyers. That push didn't work. But <laughs> how close was that, dude? How close was that? Lin has great reads. Was always stressing during the creep. And then exactly the amount of peons to repair. The storm timings were amazing to mitigate the damage of ghouls against the burrow. And Happy is against the ropes now. Two and one. Lin two maps away from winning. But of course, we have four more maps to go for. Happy left hand side. Lin right hand side. Fastier, fast tech again. Ooh, switch up by Happy. And a big one. Switching up the early game tech from Ghouls. Into Ted Fiends. Is that the right adjustment? I can't really remember when Happy played Ted Fiends last versus Ghouls, but this changes the entire dynamic. A player's forces are under attack. Lin will scout this rather quickly. And this, of course, also means it's like that there's not going to be ghouls, but fiends. And not having ghouls, Lin might be able to take the ground and might not be forced into air. Town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Harass up, level 2 prevented for now. If an acolyte falls here, the tech is delayed by minute, by a yeah, minute, more or less. 
But that is not the case. Most important for Lin is delay the unholy aura for as long as possible. And now I'm really curious, what's the adjustment of Lin? Will his radar, walker, Kodo, wyvern, bat army work as well as it did before? Or does he have to come up with something else? So far, I don't see any adjustments. It's the same as before. Attack. Very little XP on both sides. You don't have the creep speed with fiends. You gotta wait for them. Their production time is certainly longer. Harder to replace. More expensive, of course. Two peons not returning wood? Players' forces are under attack. Not sure. What? Do always need to micro the peons if you build the wombo right next to the trees? They were blocked. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, that hurts. He is switching it up though. Shadow Hunter second, still double beastery, but no lodge. Uh, no, no totem. Sorry. No totem, but tier 3 instead. So he knows he has a little bit more time for that tech to unfold. No tier 2 expo. And Happy still has a long way ahead of him. So, Farsia, Shadow Hunter. Is that Wyvern and Venom Spears then? I'd say so. Always with an option to go for Tiny Great Hall. But yeah, strategic variants. Tells me that Happy can't come up on the fly with adjustments towards the push that Lin has displayed. And yeah, classic Orc play! Shadow Hunter out, get the Hex in, do some damage, force some coils, slow down the creeping. Happy can't even creep his natural here, but you gotta be careful. Wait, there's no Lich production. Only now starting. So this might not be a unit, or is it? Force is a potion of mana. But yeah, big delays on Happy, even though it's not that noticeable just yet. What did Lin get currently? He got a, two heroes, right? There's no investment into anything else. And that seems very efficient to me with the Wyvern coming in. Web is far away. The levels on Lin are of course abysmal. But what he accomplished is a delayed level 3, a potion forced, uh, and no ghouls, still. And mana potions are expensive. And investments in the mid game slows everything down in the late game. We get the wyvern, as expected, we get the envenomed spears. And no web just yet. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You go Wyvern and you find the flute and you find the scroll of the beast. Do you know how much damage that is? This is an absurd amount of extra damage. You get the plus three on every wyvern, plus 25%, which is plus 10 on every wyvern. That is crazy. Happy needs defend upgrades. Lin creeps the world. 
I wonder if he feels so safe that he's going for a tiny soon. TC is coming. This is almost Lin going back to like timings of three to four months ago. Fortifying the base, the double burrow tower setup. Is too much? Over 9,000? <laughs> you guys are correct. <laughs> Definitely the highest amount of creep craft that we've seen all series. Up. TC gets another flute. There's half an orchestra here. Invo potion, heal scroll. No consumables on happy side. He's also supply block for the time being. Got web up. Goes to the red spot. Oh, the perfectly fine by carrying this late. We go Gox. 2,200 viewers. Sounds good, guys. Sounds good to me. Happy got the battle bongos. That is also good damage on the fiends. Karubik with the five gifties. Thank you. But it's not nearly as good as other items on that uh, creep spot. So let's see what Lin gets. A Ancient Django, okay. A little bit unfortunate because he got that aura already on the TC. And it feels like Happy is getting ready for one big push. But where's it gonna land on? There's no expansion that is more or less fragile. Lin is willing to go this one base, one base. And I wonder if that's not too fragile. He can go up to 80. He's super rich. He spends more time and no upkeep than Happy does. And he got amazing items. Alchemist third. Okay. Acid Bomb versus Wyvern. But no silence against this TC. No sleep, no carrion swarm. And here comes the flyby onto ghouls. There's no spirit tower in the base for Happy. And forces a TP, trades it, of course, because Lin is still filthy, filthy rich. Oh, he wanted to go. Haha, <laughs> used stomp. It's on cooldown, but there was no effect because he portaled uh, during the animation. But this is what Lin wanted. He was banking 1300 gold. While Happy was in upkeep. And the TP trade is of course perfectly fine. Can you spend the gold now? Is it time for a tiny? Not in the inventory yet. Farsia mana is very low. But Happy sees, hey, everything's empty the here, huh? Are under Three claws and gloves on the lich though. Gotta pay attention to it. DK scouting for expansions. Is that the time to go for the second base now, Lin? Or is it time to build an even bigger army? Plus 12 on the Wyvern. Sick. No Orb of Lightning. Mana Potion and Heal Scroll for Sustain. And Happy is shocking around. Double Ring of Region, by the way. Nice. Very tactical play now. One of them has to take a risk. Lin with an Expo or Happy with a push. Now. Adding the armor upgrades. Might be too late. Wonky position to engage into. Codas off forward. That's the big acid bomb. Went to engage. He was waiting for that one bat. Ooh, nasty Nova. Good damage done by Happy here. Nice splits as well. Only getting one feed with the storm. That's amazing. 
But what about the air fight? It's all about the air fight! And the heroes TC down to 50%. Why were lots of them web? Bats can't really connect. Going for the Alchemist. Wants to take the acid bomb away. More and more bats are streaming in. Destroyers in the air. Don't really stand a chance, do they? Another bat. Boom, baby. Goes the dynamite. Lin at 62. Happy at 42. This is looking almost hopeless. The heroes got to carry that. Coil is in. Level 4 and level 2 for Happy. But the ledge gets stomped. And so does Happy. Three wins in a row for Lin. So well prepared. Happy doesn't stand a chance here today. After game one. Lin in Super Saiyan mode. What is going on? What is going on? Three and one, everybody. There is maybe three players in the history of this game that are able to take three maps in a row off of Happy. And Lin is definitely one of them. I don't know if Norwegian Whale put an extra bribe onto Happy. <laughs> but goddamn. This series goes the exact opposite of what I expected this series to go. <sighs> so, playing straight up doesn't work. Going for double slaughterhouse doesn't work. Switching to fiends doesn't work. What works? Match points for Lin. We will play all seven maps. But it's match points for Lin. And this would be such a statement for all the orcs in the world. They were desperate. They were almost hopeless. I talked to Lin uh, last week or like two weeks ago. He says, man, <laughs> we need a patch. <laughs> and if Lin says that, he's not a balance whiner per se. Seeing this result is amazing. It didn't need a patch. It needed tinkering. Strategic variance. And god tier execution. But we all know how a series with happy can go. You get your hopes up, you get the match points, and then you get destroyed. I am very, very happy to tell you guys that one of my favorite maps of all time is making a return because I was able to do so. And this, ladies and gentlemen, it's the beauty of Shattered Exile. I hit the button, but it doesn't do the stinger transition. There we go. I adore Shattered Exile for people who are not too familiar with this map. You got two spots to expand. Left hand side, bottom side. You got labs right next to these gold mines. So we see a lot of Bombermans. We have a mercenary in the middle that gives you an assassin. Which is a pretty strong unit. So happy. Are you just giving us a show? Every map is a hundred dollars. Usually you gotta spend your entire Friday evening for just fifty dollars. Happy is not giving this money away usually. And 
Lin doesn't switch things up. Farseer, Warmill, Great Hall. Tech, Happy on the other side is not satisfied at all with what the Fiends accomplished in the last game. A player's forces By the way, we gotta mention, it was an incredible timing for Lin to bank so much at 50, squeeze out the unit right for Happy's push, lured him into the tower position. Absolutely fantastic. So will someone make you... The rush distance is huge, by the way. So this buys Happy some time. Will someone make use of that assassin? And can Lin steal XP away again? Not just yet! But this is also not level 2 from just the lab. That's all fine. Tech has started no big deal at the moment. A player's I really hope this match now with a lot of eyes on this map, on this match, can bring Shadow Exile back. Very, very underappreciated map in my opinion. And since we're moving towards more macro-oriented maps with TM and LT, maybe it's the time for maps like SE. Last hit opportunity again. Nope, this time Happy plays around it perfectly like Lin did before on Northern Isles. But the ghoul, what about the ghoul? Neo is honestly the biggest Shattered Exile fanboy. <laughs> that might be right. Creeps are getting involved here. Things are dicey. Lin dribbles through the ghoul fangs. Well done. But also happy saving that ghoul. That is some great Warcraft we're exposed to today. Happy also has an Acolyte Spare. And Lin is moving back to the timing that we've seen before on the first three maps with triple production into TC. Granted, on the first map, it was a Shadow Hunter. A player's forces are under attack. If you lower the HP of ghouls, of course, they can't creep too much. Don't want to risk too much. But this is the calm before yet another storm. Thank you, Osiris, for the sub. A player's forces are under now shoes on the other foot. Lin is the one having to creep, having to force the issue. Lich a lot faster than on the previous game. Mosta, thank you for the sub as well. Love to see the Norwegian whale spam in the chat. Need to see more of that. A player's forces are under attack. Got a good feeling that this match, this show match, the investment of Norwegian whale into this show match is bringing a lot of joy to people all across the world. So, interesting creep route. Creeping further forward with this lap and then probably slowly moving back. Fake face Chan, thank you for the sub. That state oil money, baby. <laughs> I guess so. A player's forces are under attack. With that spare acolyte, is Happy thinking about expanding? No way, right? There shouldn't be an opportunity for that. There shouldn't be a timing for that. 
if Lin keeps up the scouting, and he absolutely does. What the skeleton is to happy, the wolf is to Lin. In terms of scouting. A player's forces are under attack. But this is of course Lin again on tier two. Nobody's making use of that assassin. Surprises me a bit. Got poison damage, which is great in early games. And Happy is expanding. Wow. Another different strat against the double raider timing. Here, with the rush distances being so big, the Wyvern will be later. But if it's an expansion play, these raiders hold a great value. And again, I gotta say, this looks a bit desperate. Was a bit of a decoy. Lin scouted this early. This forced Lin to cross the map. This delayed timing. The expansion still had a purpose, even though it didn't come through. Wait, what? Oh, sweet creep manipulation. Makes it an easy, easy experience game. As Happy is cleaning up the mercenary camp, Frenzy, Destroyers, Inventory. Rather empty for both of them. Crystal Ball, you know, on a big map like this with two expansion spots. Maybe not the worst, per se. Now it's Lin time to get a second base up. Okay, now an Assassin. They have 450 HP, so on Lin's side, this was probably a bit too fragile against Coil Nova. But don't underestimate this lad. And never underestimate Coil Nova. Never underestimate Happy. Just because three games in a row went Lin's way, it doesn't mean it stays this way. Big heal potion, massive stomp. The hero levels aren't there just yet. Only level two, not even close to level three. Ghouls flooding the space, but. Stomp and Chain Lightning creates a lot of space, gets some damage done, but what about the Destroyers? The backbone of Happy's army, Lin wasn't able to delay them, Coil Nova on the Raiders takes care of anti-air, of course, as well, and less control in Lin's fight. But that is time for the expansion, which is not coming up, it's just the towers. Dark Ranger now, Kodo has eaten, and the Assassin is finally freed. And this looks like the best happy game in a while. Bats are coming in. The position is getting a little better. As reinforcements are also faster. But that's a lot of skeletons. That's still some ghouls. But we do have the level 3 cow. Can you hold? Once again, the towers are up. And the Destro is hurt. Level 3 now here as well. Two towers. One goes down, but the second one will probably be up again. Playing a little tower whack-a-mole. Um, okay, lots of coils. And the spirit link is again fueling the Destro. But one bat can lead to a kill here, if not coiled. Great save by Lin. Very low supply fight here. And Happy can't do anything. It looks like, wow, that range on the coil. <laughs> okay. A player's forces are under very atypical. Very, very atypical for a happy game that fights like these. Go clearly the opposite way for him. Great execution by Lin. I don't want to take anything away. He lured Happy into the tower. Once again, he had the repair ready. But is this the best Happy we've ever seen? Definitely not. No expo behind this. On either side, just yet. But a fortified position for Lin. The levels are there now. 3-3. Three, three. The bats are online. The Kodos are there. And Snare is online again. A player's forces are under attack. So what now, I ask? 
Lin is waiting for gold. He's at 51 out of 51. Little unfortunate. Losing a lot of gold here now. And Shattered Exile is, of course, one of the bigger maps that we can have in one-on-one. -on -one. Big red spot. Happy in punching distance. The big one goes down. TC gets the belt. More tankiness here. And the speed scroll to disengage. Good timing. Leave the scraps to Happy. That's perfectly fine. Happy, by the way, very, very, very little lumber. No upgrades. That expo seems a bit doomed. Moisan, thank you for the 35 month reads up. And Lin is not in position. This is a cancel. Is there anything that Lin can do with the time? Happy has a TP once again. There was big cost. Feels like a wrong read. Scouting for an expo. But Lin, these labs close to expo can be used for some Bomberman gameplay. Where are we ending up on? Probably the Tomb of Relics. Oh, no detonate yet. This is getting problematic. Blows up the shop, so at least he has that. The bats are connecting. Everything was clumped up. This one will probably fall, despite the spirit link. Happy in his own base. Lin, is this... Is this the right call, buddy? He has a TP. He can get at all times, really. Both at 40 now, but the Destro's amazing damage. Kudu Nuke, Lin, you're overstaying your welcome, mate. And he knows it. Weird game. Very weird game, to be honest. This probably shows that neither of the player was too familiar with Shattered Exile. Expo delayed, lots of gold lost to upkeep unnecessarily. Fasir died there too. But okay, Happy's fighting. Happy got as he. That was also his pick, of course. He had three map picks in a row. And now two more maps. Is it yet another turnaround? Is it the same story as so many times before? We had Turtle Rock and Lost Temple left in the pool. Yeah, I think the map size didn't necessarily play into Lin's strat. This is a very timing dependent thing. And if the map is big, rush distance increases, reinforcement time increases, and it didn't do Lin too many favors, I'd say. Big investment into the towers that helped him survive the first fight, but afterwards, a little bit of a wrong read, maybe thinking that Happy expanding again, crossing the map, exposing that expo. If he's in position, left hand side, He might be able to hold again in the, the shadow of the two towers. But he wasn't. And that gives, of course, Lin two more match points. We are moving up to Turtle Rock. And that leaves the big lost temple last. Every map, oh wait, every map, $100 on top of $400 that everybody gets just for showing up and agreeing to the match and the conditions, of course. Turtle Rock. We look at the map stats once again for Lin. This definitely includes the old Turtle Rock. But it's 85% win rate on Turtle Rock versus Happy. 
That's quite a lot, guys. So, second match point for Lin. Can he close it out? Another hundred dollars. And the win for the entire horde. Or is it yet another happy comeback? Norwegian Will, what a hero. I agree. Okay, Turtle Rock, show us what you got. They're spawning on the same lane. This, of course, is the Watch Awards and Heal Awards removed. Rush distance. The map might look big, and the map in itself is rather big with lots to creep. But if you're spawning on the same lane, this is little rush distance. Same build again. No Blade Masters this entire series just yet. Norwegian Whale, thank you for the tournament. Right on. One of the bigger Lin fanboys that we got in the scene, that's for sure. The, the Fiend experiment failed so spectacularly that I don't think we'll see it back, ghouls it is. And we stick with DK and Farseer with the fast. A player's forces are 3,000 viewers. Mm-hmm. Can they just fight forever? Can we just dump another 1500 to have them fight for two more hours? We haven't seen the craziest late games yet. It was all very timing dependent. If the timing works out. Happy wins. If the timing doesn't work out, Lin wins. Two more, everybody. Two more. Lin is switching it up. He was creeping first. Usually, he immediately went across, preventing Happy's levels. The player's forces are under attack. And they neutralized each other quite a bit. Everything saved. Ghoul to the side. Wolf also. And this is not many ghouls on Lumber at all. They're all on the map. So, this is level 2 of Happy Can't Steal Anything. So we deal with the ghouls first. As Happy is creeping here and that is then Unholy Aura. This is big. This would also be an early chain lightning if Lin gets the entire camp. But this is a good distraction. If no wolves fall, but the Shadow Mal that he found on the first camp definitely helps here. Trying to commit. And he got it. So if he gets that little turtle now, that is level 2. Happy is coming in. No loss in the early game and Lin knows this. Retreating without getting the turtle. So win for happy. Well done. Nicely playing around each other. Ooh, we're getting closer to a coil a kill threshold, but no. Double beast to rewalk up. Is again the play. No mass wiper, no mass raider, no big adjustments here. Forcing coils, slowing happy down. Similar to what we've seen before. Of course, as an undead, you can't catch up with the tech of orc. It's just always faster because the fast year covers so much ground. A player's forces are under attack.
And Happy knows that it's a TC. Doesn't have to be afraid of a Shadowhunter rush. But rather more Creepcraft. Taking things slow. And of course, you don't want this DK to get level 3 fast, so we're contesting this again. And it's down to Happy to find a solution. It's always Slaughterhouse into Tech into Lich, right? No big adjustments in that regard. And it's all down to execution. I think the game plan for both is clearly laid out. No surprises, no more. <laughs> Will a ghoul fall? Will Lin be able to get one of these? No? Just no? Shane Lightning is available. And this is quite a reduction. Happy down to 29. Struggling to get level 3. And the TC with the classic orc creep spot to the red as fast as possible. That TC might need some tanky items. Definitely something to be found here. Ring of the Archmage Eye again. Love it. Ensnare up. Attack. Raiders online. But not even level 2 TC yet. And it's kind of hard to get it here. Zeta, thank you for buying a hoodie. Hope it keeps you warm in winter, mate. I enjoy your content. Thank you, Zeta. Shop for Happy. This doesn't have a Watch Award anymore, but the Crystal Ball scans the rat spot, seeing that Lin is scouting this, uh, is, is creeping this. But this crystal ball wears off quite fast, and he didn't see the peon. So will this mislead happen? He might be surprised, actually, that this takes so long. But he pulls back. Waiting for Frenzy. We don't have reinforced defenses. Not even started. And we don't have a tower. This timing can be very disruptive. One of the more tamer games that we've seen today, huh? Here we go. Inwill Potion Heal Scroll on Happy. 35 food only. But now we got Frenzy. Now we got Destroyers in a bit. And no damage was done early. And we're fighting far away from Lin's base as he's buying time for the Great Hall, 25%. More stalling. Strategic play by Lin, not the flashy one. And this is Happy's timing and everybody knows. No speed scroll to escape. The bats are in position, so is the Wyvern. The Ensnare makes it so that the bats can't connect, right? But of course they're buying time. Undefended position, but air units... Oh, intercepted here! Was about to say it can safely fly across and reunite with the army. So, if Lin were a ground unit, that would be a problem. He sends the bats all the way back to the base. They're missing in the fight now. Going for the Dark Ranger, being healed here, waiting for the burrow. But there's only one peon here. Stressful situation for Lin. This is, of course, the fight to win the show match. Destro detonated at least one of them. But the supply is still even happy, brute forcing that base. We're down to very, very little HP, and he gets it. The big win condition is not online just yet. Happy for the first time in a while breaking that base. Unlike in game two, three, four, where this isn't possible. Sweet and snare dodge with the Destro Morph. Happy is online, finally woke up. And where are the bats he needs them? Happy not without losses though. The ground is empty, it's all Destros. 
And heroes, of course. Wulin, can you win without the Great Hall? Happy and willing to fight into that fortified position with the Boron Nubetsa streaming in. But everything is more or less healthy. And now it's time to rebuild. Reinforcements sent to the side, not walking into the Horde's army. And Happy is getting stronger in these fights, guys. A little bit too careful by sending the bats so far away if they connect earlier. Maybe you can force a faster retreat and get that expo up. Oh, bats! Instantly nuke. That's the risk. Some rally points seem a bit off, but while Happy is creeping, Lin's attacking. There is a destroyer. These raiders are hurt. There's no speed scroll. He wants this narrow tower. He wants the acolytes. He wants to keep Happy back and buy more time on the cost of a TP. This would have also kept Happy supply blocked at 40 and opened up a huge timing window. But Lin is starting to make mistakes and can't get the objectives that he wants to. TC close to three. Another attempt. Ooh, Happy is getting strong. Real strong. And he's also getting the shop as Lin wants some turtle soup. The diesel engine that is happy is online. Level 3 TC heal potion might need it if the Nova lands, but it doesn't. Good retreat with the speed scroll as one should. And happy is busy here. And this expo is growing. Maybe there is a second chance to build this expansion. But happy. Usually he won't allow this. Still no defense upgrades, but no wyvern in this fight. Only bats. He needs them. And that's three destroyers. Guys, I got a feeling that game seven will decide the series. Again, a perfect timing. This is so good. And the damage is too high. You gotta cancel this again. Lin needs a magnificent fight to stand a chance here. Happy 400 gold. Takes care of the burrow. Lin unwilling to engage. No static defense as a support anymore. And the connections just aren't there yet. More skeletons on the ground thanks to these peons. They're not helping. They're kind of backstabbing. Happy's splits are great. Loses two Destros. The third one is getting saved. Okay. Lin, it looks hopeless, but you're a god amongst orcs, so maybe you can do it. But how against this tri-hero combo? The lack of statues and the instant reinforcements might give him hope. Another Destro. We got level 4, but also level 3 Lich. That's huge. No control in this fight anymore. Lack of ants there. Farsi on the menu. No consumable in his inventory. Could swap the greater healing around as happy is running out of mana he wants the dr and he might get this dr if not for the invul potion we're playing hero arena and in hero arena without tier three that's a problematic situation for an orc chain lightning lining up not enough damage happy calculated this perfectly dark ranger lives farseer down game seven baby Whew. Lost Temple to the side at all. The passive approach by Lin didn't necessarily work. Happy contesting the bottom left hand turtle spot was so good. The four ghoul pulled to the left hand side, buying time for the DK in the north to get the level two, moving back with Unholy Aura that was then unlocked at the perfect timing, not allowing the Farseer to get uh, Chain Lightning to threaten the ghouls, and then Happy in the driving seat playing his tempo, the denying expansions once again with the perfect timing. 
And that makes it a three, three best of seven. Thank God I don't have to explain why we played the seventh map. But you know, this is more than just a hundred dollars. Thank you, Kevin, for the sub. We're down to a best of one. This is your four year anniversary, by the way. Thank you. And what a better map to decide this on than Lost Temple. What's this gonna be? We've seen DK Farseer all day, every day. Is it time? For Blade Master vs. Crypt Lord, maybe. Please, give me a 40 minute epic banger to decide the Norwegian Whale show match. It's already great that we go full distance. It's already great that we see new strategies, new timings. But Linda feeding happy in a best of seven. That would be an epic statement also to show the competitiveness and the state of the horde currently in Warcraft 3. The number one in the world against the number two in the world. We're only one map away from deciding this series. Who takes the big one? Is it Happy? Is it Lin? We got close positions. Would have loved to see this cross, but no. Who is this even better for? Lin can certainly expand here or here, as he's not going for a fast expansion. And the rush distance is quite good. There we go, guys. One last dance in the Norwegian Whale Show match. Are there adjustments? Fasia. Seven maps, Fasia. No blade, no crit. And Happy switches it up. Dreadlord, baby. The sleep, the swarm, and the vamp aura. I was wondering, is that just an LT special versus human? Or is it the standard on Lost Temple? Happy is giving the people what they want. Incredible series. A big exclamation mark by Happy on map one, destroying Lin's strategy. And then three wins in a row. Violin, which is incredibly hard to achieve against Happy, obviously, showing that the strategy that he wanted to go for is working. And then the back-to-back -back wins by Happy, defending two match points in a row. Now, Dreadlord gameplay on Lost Temple. Lin again with a similar strategy to Turtle Rock. Creeping first. And happy. Dreadlord fast expansion. Both with the ring first. Sleep, of course. Huh, this creep doesn't wake up, huh? During daytime. Peaceful, peaceful nulls. Very different objectives here. Cleaning the temple is Lin's job. Directing an expo is Happy's job. Lin didn't scout. You're right. He did not. He's probably anticipating this. 
But can you always be sure? Did he even scout the spawning position? It feels like he did not. He feels a little clueless. No, no, no. Sleep. Surround. No shadow melts. The creeps wake up. All right. This is damage towards happy big time. But the town portal is gone. One sleep. On a huge map, taking that expo away. A player's force Big win for back. Happy, but... We stick with the Beast Trees, we stick with the Totem. Happy's anti-air takes several minutes to come online. Outside of Carrion Swing. Patrols are gone, leaving the Ogre Mauler, very tanky, Happy's Expo about to be attack. up. Lin has to be so careful now. Once around, and he's dead. This feels inefficient. No steel, but at least vision, intelligence. Farseer just running around though. No level three dreadlord. Relatively hard to get here as everything is so far away. Lin is opening up his own expansion with another claw, which is great response. But Happy's Expo is up, getting heavily, heavily fortified. The tech is running. It's definitely a timing thing. Peon can expand at any time now once he has the resources, but since it's so timing dependent... Ooh, double crypt. Since it's so timing dependent, can't afford that now. Seppi going Garks against this, by the way. With the Echo advantage? He can afford it, can he not? Oh, I can definitely see, definitely see, see a Telly Staff Boots of Speed. On the Dreadlord at level 3. And a Mana Stone! Ooh, the Dreadlord is uh, not the best in regening, regenerating mana, but now he absolutely is. Lin gets the temple as Happy is moving to the left hand side, gives the middle of the map away to the orc. Happy scouting, perfect time. As the peon is ready, Lin with a defensive approach, not a timing approach. Scroll of the Beast, as well as Ankh. Not the worst, not the best. Map is still big. We want more airtime, everybody. Happy with Cannibalize. Look at this. For. We all want an infernal, don't we? But for that, a lot of units still have to die. Farseer scouting, knowing what Happy is doing. And there wasn't too much cannibalize. Oh, got an arm. Cappy checks this. Reinforcements coming in. It is very different, by the way. No wyvern. Only raiders walkers. Here comes the surround. But there's an onk. Just no TP. He's oh, the chain lightning gets a double kill. Lin has the gold. Buys a heal scroll. No TP. Was that out of stock because Happy got it before? Fiend transition, no ghouls. Oh, it's 
two towers, man. That's so hard to crack. But with Shockwave, no Storm, this might be echo damage, but how to get out? No speed scroll, no TP. Dangerous, dangerous territory for Lin here now. How to get out? There's also sleep. The DK comes in. The Farseer is surrounded. Happy. Are you winning three maps in a row versus Lin? Really? Shockwave one more time. Not hitting much. Definitely a better position now. The heal scroll. He's waiting for it. The perfect synergy between Spirit Link and heal scroll displayed once again. Shockwave. He wants more. But there's no mana no more. One more Shockwave maybe. But also the Carrion Swarm. Huge AoE damage on both sides. What's next? Sleep on the TC. Brute Force. He needs the kills. Lin is investing so much into this, but happy also. What's left, really? The heroes. The heroes, that's it. Raider, Walker, safe to the side. Amazing micro by Lin. Both have this expo up. Happy. Struggling. But we're one hero kill away from a tide turning and that is one coil away as well fiends are dying rapidly against the wolves on level two and the tc can probably just walk away there's no one holy aura fastier is back counter block by lin anticipating a surround by happy and damage is done supply lead is gigantic And the economy is evened out. A player's forces are under attack. This is now, of course, absolutely amazing to have the health fountain in the middle of the map. Happy switching back to ghouls. He definitely anticipated Wyvern, no? I'm so sure. And that's why he went for the fiends. But that ain't happening. Counter push. Boro isn't up. Close. Needs repair now. Oh my god, the carrion swamp dodge. Lin, are you insane? Doesn't really help though. Was a flashy play. We're going for the statues once again. And Happy has a TP on the Dreadlord. Wants to gobble up more XP from peons. Reduce the economy. Reduce the gold income. Fasia level 4. Chain lightning, of course, an insane weapon for schools. Dust settles. Four production buildings for Happy. For the first time this series, we have a two base, two base situation. And Lin, he feels he has the time. Tier three. Kalito, thank you for the sub. W Lieber, thank you for the sub. A player's forces are under attack. Three thousand five hundred viewers, by the way. Great. Archmage Aura for the TC at the Farsia. Imagine this on happy side. This was also the fight, by the way. The bottom left hand fight. Mana Stone go. sides. Lin needs more time for tier 3 and then what do you do with the tier 3? He's scouting with the bat. I like that a lot. Using the synergy of spirit link and heal fountain constantly. No third hero for happy by the way. Still room for an alchemist. Still room for a lich. Lich is coming. The DK, by the way, level one. Then probably doesn't didn't expect Happy to be home. Shockwave, chain lightning, not on the level yet, but long term, Happy might need heal scrolls. This AOE is sick. 
4-4 against 4-1-1. No TP. Lots of control. Raiders to the side. As you don't want to fight without a heal scroll on Lin's side either. But he has the resources, just needs the time. This map, of course, huge. Making it to the shop, not guaranteed. Happy has the ad advantage of having heal scrolls at home. And it's not the meme at home, it's like the real thing at home. Bats, tier 3 done. Ulrock, thank you for the sub. I love this and I want it to last forever. Me too, brother, me too. A player's forces are under attack. On paper it's just a hundred dollars, in reality it's so much more. Easy creep on the right hand side, making strides towards level 5 and opening up the shop. This is even more important. Got the wind of the wind, which is fantastic, of course. The disable against coil, sleep, everything. Oh, Lin also with the town portal. 76 food. We're getting there. The big late game fights. The inventory for Lin is looking amazing. All you do is hold. No reinforced defenses might bite him. This requires a reaction by Lin pretty much instantly. Destroyer push is sick. And here comes the TP. Carry and swarm off cooldown. Will hit a lot. This is the fight, everybody. So many destroyers, but no armor upgrades. The bats can't connect. Lots of skeletons being dispelled. Who wins the AoE war? One heal scroll used already. Happy has a TP, but also a mana potion. Raider's not really used to fight. He needs the bats. Lin, where's the production? Bats are coming in. That's another one gone. Three Destros still. Now Wyvern are sick with Venom Spears. Shockwave ghouls gone, level five. Close, neck and neck fight here. One more coil, very, very low though. Lich on the menu, oh, not anymore, it's gone. Healing is not available for Lin no more. DK on the menu, oh, that TP, so sick. Also, the dispel speed. Carry and swarm last second to get another one. Even supply, happy with a better economy. Sick fight. Sick fight. Both lost a lot. 5-5 five, five on Lin though. Lich kill, big because he can't level. But is this about creeping anymore? Or is this just turning into a bare knuckle box fight? Peons need to slide over, happy so where? More economy damage needs to be done. And that was a fight with two heal scrolls. Next fight will be with zero. The town is under siege. Knusper Hoden, 350 euro donation. Thank you very much. Go Lin. And Happy is giving Lin some time. But it's also getting the red spot. That's level five. That might be level three. A place we have a wyvern transition, a big one. With Venom Spears makes sense. Not only were the Wyvern upgraded, but also the Kodos. Lim needs more than anything else heal scrolls. This is 5 3 2. Huge upgrades. Out. What is it? Scepter of Avarice. This is transmute. This is big on a Kodo. This is also a finger of death. A player's forces are under attack. Lin has a heal scroll. No TP, no speed scroll. Oh, very little mana on the DK. Happy has to decide. Brawl or get out. No third base. With Shockwave. TC is rather useless in fights. It's nice to hit the statues. That's about it. There we 
we go. ka -ching, baby. But the Kodo Aura is still there. Lin's goal here, snipe the statue, get rid of the regen. Is this just one coil for the entire fight? It's zero coils for the fight. Supply even, heal scroll, mana potion. Happy is kind of stuck there going, ah, Zeppelin. How does this game go now? 20 minute mark. More Wyvern. Happy has the advantage that he can upgrade armor and that makes bats really, really, really weak over time. The Carrion Swarm is a weapon of mass destruction against Lin's army. It doesn't matter what he builds. It's all getting killed. A player's forces are under attack. And this is Stomp now. This will come as a surprise. There's no indicator for Happy that this is not Shockwave anymore. A huge stun can lead to a lot of destruction. But speaking of a lot of destruction... This is an absurd amount of destroyers. How do you hold this? I don't think you do. Happy is well equipped. Heal scroll, heal potion, double mana, TP. All the damage thrown onto the burrows. Lin is supply block. Can't rebuild during the fight. Oh, Happy. This is looking so good for you now. 85 food. Lin can't counter. Massive surgical strike. Lin wasn't ready for this. But the destroyers without mana are use oh, not useless, but really weak! The nuke is sick! The crowd control as well! What to do with the bats? AoE is maddening! Now he knows that it's stopped! Can he get rid of these Destros? Not if he can't rebuild! The loss of Boros hurts him so bad! How do you deal? How do you kill the destroyers? You don't! Lin is losing so much! The lich goes down, but does it even matter? The strategic genius of Happy striking again. He was three levels down on even economy. Imagine this fight with bad reinforcements. This is easily 20 supply destroyers falling. Easily. A player's forces are under attack. And now Lin is down the dumpster. Tiny Great Hall. There's no real ability to destroy the base. It has to be via heroes. There is a TP. There's mana. This looks hopeless. Lin throwing the kitchen sink onto that Dreadlord trying to prevent Infernal. But there's another coil and Lin is routing out of ammo. Uh oh. Not good. We have another mana potion. This can be chain lightning at any time but is that enough? It's a good AoE but it's a bad nuke. The Kodo is falling and it's all Ogre! Happy defeating three match points in a row wins the Norwegian Whale Show Match. What a series! What a turnaround! What a game! This was everything we wanted from a competitor's standpoint. Amazing! That's how you do a show match, everybody. Coming in prepared with new strats, with adaptations throughout the best of seven, with a Dreadlord. But in the end, Happy always owns you. <sighs> that was such a sick destroyer push. It's incredible 
how how much better Happy played at the end of the series than in the beginning of the series. He turned it up by a hundred. And then, you know, these macro maps, you really see that he knows what to do at every single point of the game. And the bigger maps, they didn't do Lin any favors, really. His triple tier two production building push didn't necessarily work on bigger maps like Shattered Exile and Lost Temple. But it's a strategy that might work on more normal maps. Hell of a game. Hell of a commitment 